I grew up in a time and a culture where the people around me, the adults around me, didn't allow me to see their flaws. They didn't allow me to see their hurt. They didn't allow me to see their pain because they wanted to protect me from the trials and the tribulations and the hardships that they suffered. So I sort of vowed to myself and um, to my daughters when they were born to allow them to see my flaws. And that even though things aren't easy, if you persevere, that you can overcome adversity. I think it's really important to build resilience in children because it helps them solve problems, it helps them adapt, it helps them deal with the difficulties that the ebbs and flows of life. Um, you know, you know, life is a roller coaster. It's full of ups and downs and you know, for us, like we don't want to pretend like everything's always perfect. Just allowing the girls to see us be vulnerable and explain to them, you know, when we're hurting, when we're sad, when we're crying, when something makes us mad or that has given them the courage, when they have those moments to come to us and say, this is how I'm feeling, you know, can you help me through that? And for us, that's just been invaluable because that foundation, that solid foundation so that they know they can talk to us at all times. We try to create a space in our home where our children feel safe to talk about anything that's bothering them. If they're mad at us, we're like, it's, it's okay, you can tell us how you feel. And even if you can't really give voice to how you feel, it's okay just to have that, that feeling and let them know that their feelings are valid, you know, and that we care and that we're here to listen. Story time, story time, let's go surprise! Resilience is something that every parent can do, every family can do. There's no secret to it. It's attainable for everybody.